my channel if you want to see how I got this Ariana Grande inspired tutorial then just keep on watching. This tutorial is very 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 highly requested. I do this hairstyle quite a lot on my channel recently because it is so easy and such an easy way to style my Zyla hair extensions. This tutorial does include in extensions but if you don't want to use extensions that's totally fine you can still do this tutorial. But if you are interested in seeing how I got this hairstyle then just keep on watching. But the first step in this hair tutorial is extensions. You don't have to use extensions in this hair tutorial but I wear extensions almost every single day so I am going to be including extensions in this video. I'm just taking my Zyla 30 inch hair extensions. I'm not going to be using all of these, only a select few pieces so if you don't have as many pieces as me, I have five pieces but I've also cut a couple um, in half to make more just because I wanted more pieces that were one clips and two clips um, but it's totally up to you what you do with your hair extensions. I've said you don't need extensions for this tutorial if you already have long hair or if you want to do it with short hair that's absolutely fine but for the purpose of this look I'm going to be using Zyla hair extensions in 30 inches. The thing that I'm going to do is let my natural hair down. I have washed this last night so this is pretty fresh hair. I let it air dry so it's slightly frizzy and then I'm just brushing it all the way through so that there's no knots and tangles. Hair is all brushed out and pretty smooth. What I'm going to be doing is putting extensions in the bottom half of my hair. Basically because Ariana Grande's ponytail is from the ears up, underneath is where we can only put hair extensions. Um, because I don't want any extensions in my ponytail, that's just my personal preference. But if you did want to put hair extensions in your ponytail, I'm sure that would be absolutely fine as well. Because her ponytail comes straight from her ears, I'm literally just sectioning where the ponytail would be, which is in the top section of the hair, and just tying this back. So the hair extensions are going to be on in this part of hair underneath. So I'm going to be taking really small sections. So this is when your two clip wefts are going to come in handy because these are thin wefts but not as thin as one piece and you don't really, well I wouldn't want really really heavy hair extensions in the bottom of my hair so I just take my two pieces and just clip them at the bottom. If you are using all of your own hair, you can literally just um, skip this step out and wait until I do the ponytail. So now I'm just taking another section slightly further up and just taking another two clip weft. Brushing this out. The reason why these hair extensions are a tiny bit wet is because I washed and conditioned them last night. Just so they'd be in perfect condition. And then just clipping that in. I'm just going up one small sectioning that off and then just clipping this where we've just sectioned off but now I've just put in all of them extensions this is what my hair looks like and this is what the ends look like so obviously the hair extensions won't blend amazingly because they are only in the bottom of the hair but obviously because all of the top of the hair is going up you won't be able to notice. The three clips are all in and it is all brushed out and smooth. I've actually got quite a few pieces of extensions left over that I actually don't need so make sure you only put them in the bottom half if you want to follow this tutorial. I'm sure you can probably put them in the top um, somehow in the ponytail also if you want. So if you want me to try and work out how to do that and do another tutorial with it that way then please just let me know. What to do now is section off from the ears upwards where the ponytail will be. She always has it straight back from um, the tips of her ears so yeah I'm making sure to do that and then brush brushing it all smooth. Start with it all back like this or you can bring a bit of the front section down so I'm going to do that so if you wanted to keep it like this then you can just tie it up like this and then follow the steps later or you can bring down the front section like I'm going to do. Down the front section what I do is just section off where my natural um, short bangs are which is just here and then I just keep that out of the way. Pete, do the same thing as what we did before um, from the ears up. making sure that all the hair around the ears is up. I just make sure to smooth back all of the top section and I have quite a few baby hairs so this is quite hard for me. Um, 
but with the front piece of hair down it does help because it disguises quite a few of the baby hairs hide it up really quickly just to see if there's any bits of hair I've missed and I can see some bits of hair on this side which I've missed so that just gives you like a rough guide um, to see if there's any extra strands of hair that need to go up The next part is smoothing because as you can see there is quite a few baby hairs um, sticking up on my head so I'm going to take the Weller Shockwaves Ultra Strong Power Hold Gel this is in level 5 just taking a little bit on my finger and then just smoothing back my baby hairs Now I've done this you can see there is quite a few bumps around the ponytail so what I'm going to do is just undo the ponytail again and then just brush back now that the gel is in all the hair should stay and just smooth back all of the hair it is all super super smooth I'm just taking these grips that I have and um, try and get grips that are the same color as your hair these are black um, but if I could have the choice I would choose brown and I'm just smoothing back the baby hairs and just popping a couple of these grips in just to make sure that they stay down for the fringe it is totally up to you what you prefer you can either have it down um, in a recent thank you next performance she had hers down pretty much like this um, or you can either have it behind your ear which is more of her like 2014 style um, or she has also done her own tutorial before where she twisted it back and clipped it like this so you can either do one of for today I'm gonna keep mine down and then tuck it behind my ear if I want to because that is just the style that I prefer Obviously, finally you need to decide if you want to curl it or keep it straight I'm going to, put I'm going to keep mine straight today because I prefer the straight and sleek look but it's totally up to you if you want to go and curl it then I have plenty and plenty of tutorials of how I curl my Zyla hair extensions on my channel but if anybody wants to see how I curl them then just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely get that filmed for you so finally I just need to wrap the hair around the pony so I'm gonna finish that look off now what I do for this is I just take a piece of hair from the bottom of the ponytail just a really thin band like this and then I just simply wrap it around the ponytail just disguising the hair bubble it would be better if I had brown hair bubbles but unfortunately I don't I only have black but I'm literally just wrapping this around the pony until I run out of hair and then I'm just getting another pin I'm pinning this straight underneath the ponytail where nobody can see where that is and that is the finished hair so thanks everyone for watching this tutorial I really hope you've enjoyed if you have enjoyed this tutorial please go and smash a huge thumbs up and also subscribe if you can I would really really appreciate it and would like to see any more hair tutorials then just leave a comment down below and I'll get that filmed for you guys I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye guys you don't know.